Okay, today let's do a uh, forest scene. Not necessarily the forest, but when we were, I'm going to wet my uh, paper once more. I already wet it twice, just like so, with your sponge. And uh, make sure you get the edges as well. And um, there. That's nice and wet now. I let it wet twice and let it sit about five minutes so the paper is nice and soaked. That way we can have lots of nice time to let things flow. All right. Yeah, well, as I was saying, we loved to go fishing in the woods when we were kids and lots of nice paths and just um, fell in love with the woods. And so these remind me of some of the paths that we walked through. I'm going to do a kind of a purpley sky today. All right, we'll add a little alizarin crimson and some, well, just a mixture of burnt sienna and stuff there in my palette. You don't, you don't can't say that, but okay. I just want to give that sky a little more water. Squirt bottle works great. Okay, here we go. We put in some sky you know in the in the uh, fall and the winter we get those nice purpley skies oh, that a little blue to it a night we we're coming home and somebody said <coughs> you don't paint you don't see purple skies like you paint and one night I was coming home with somebody and I point the same person that said that and I pointed to the sky I said look it up there I do admit I was right. Okay, that's good enough. We don't want too much sky here today. We'll just let that flow. Oh, you want to see that flow, don't you? Nice to have some nice light in there. And I'll catch my runs again as usual. Now we're going to let it run down. See how nice that just flows. And I think we'll go back up. And now I'll add a little bit more at the top on the right here. Because when it dries back, you know, you've seen before, if you watched any of my videos, how the color dries back so that it's very pale. So when you start, make sure you have lots of paint, lots of color. Now, I just woke up, well, I didn't wake up this morning. Yeah, I woke up this morning, but... I didn't just wake up. It was early this morning when I turned on my computer. Oh, I was stunned. Rhonda, I know Rhonda. She's been painting for a number of years. I did her framing. And she, I knew she was doing, following some of my videos or looking at them. Wow, she blew my mind. What a job she did. Now, she didn't put a lot of sky in. A lot of color in her sky but the whole painting was just super duper I she did me and uh, I, it was, it's it's a thrill to know that I was able to help somebody not that she needed a lot of help I think it inspired her more than anything because she does fantastic paintings but she never did it this style and this helped her so that was great so there's this guy now uh, I love those paths through the woods, so as I said, so I'm gonna, and there's all kinds of yellows and blues and greens all in, the, in, in the fall, so I think we'll do a, kind of a fall scene. So I'm gonna start with some yellow, and I'm gonna have the path coming in here, so to, to do, the path's gonna wind around, and I'm just gonna put all this, oh my dear, this yellow I haven't used for a while, look at it, it's all lumpy, oh, gross, oh well that'll pick off and who knows what it'll do but here's my path here right so I'm just gonna put the path in and I'm gonna take my sucker brush 
and blend that in. Because I want the path to be light where people walk, right? You know how it gets beat down? And then I'm just going to wind around here. Here's the path. Okay, I'll get rid of those little lumpies. I better get some new yellow in there. I think this is new gamboge. There's so much, so little of it left. And I haven't been painting lately. And I, uh, but I'm sure that's it. The professionals will know. They said, look at that guy. He doesn't even know what paint he's using. Okay, all right. Now we're gonna put in some uh, some trees. There's my path going through there. I want that path. I don't like that. I want it to bend in around the turn here. So I'm gonna just do do do. There we go. I'm gonna go around there. You see? Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try something different. This is it. I'm going to put in some alizarin crimson along here. And you'll see why in a few minutes. Ta -da -da. There, now we're going to add the trees. Okay. And again, I use my uh, Antwerp blue and burnt sienna. Makes nice brown, green. All right, here we go. <clears throat> and you know, you know the, you know the routine. Just shape, just do, 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 do. And look at that. See how nice it's flowing. Now I'm gonna add some more brown. Remember, like I said before, lots of colors in trees. This is a pretty fat brush. I just wanted to use a different brush to show, <laughs> look at the soldiers again. I just wanted to use a fat brush to show you it doesn't really matter, but when it comes to detail, you can't you can't use a brush like that. Throw in a couple of rocks here. Doo -doo -doo. Now in the hills in the background. Now I'm going to use a, a smaller brush here. And remember, hills are kind of purpley, so uh, we'll just make that a little purple. And here's the hills in the background. Do 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 do. There we go. Okay, now I got to do more to the trees now. You see, it's pretty. Uh, watch. See, I told you I make soldiers. They do it without even thinking. Now, since uh, these trees here in the or in these trees on this side, I, would throw, I like that blue in there. Throw some of that in there. <coughs> since these are um, closer, they got to be higher. Okay, so we're going to make these higher. Space them out a little. Now we gotta have some different color here. Gotta cover up some of this yellow. There's all kinds of stuff grows along the pathway. All right, what are we gonna put in here? Where's my little brush? Sucker brush. It's kind of a hard line there. Oh, it had a lot of yellow in it. It's kind of a hard line here. I don't really want that hard line there. Is there? I'll take that away. There's a little lizard and crimson. In my tree. Now some more blue. Some brown. I just want to show you. You can put all kinds of stuff in there. There we go. And we'll have higher trees here. And I'm going to throw in some more burnt sienna. That's good. I want a rock or two here. 
Here it is. And I don't like this filling in too much here. I want you to peek around the corner. You gotta watch you don't dry it too quick and too heavy because you'll end up with a, a sharp line there. We don't want that. Uh, throw in a little more brown here. This is coming along nicely. See how everything just flowing along? All right. Now, it's just a little bit wet for my palomite. So, I'll take care of that. I don't want to dry a because it's just coming where I want it. Yeah, okay, here where's my old trusty old palette knife. And remember the rock, there's the rock. I have a tendency to make my rocks all the same shape too, I don't know why. And a little one there. Over here we need a couple rocks, balance it out. This is just getting perfect. Look at this. We put in our deadwoods. Look at that. That's great. Some more highlights. Rocky soil and some grass. Da -da 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 -da. See how much fun it is. <clears throat> and now we want to put in some branches. Oh, look! That's just the prime time. Turn it sideways a little to work my hand. Two do two two. All right, now come over, over here. Put some old did wood branches. Choo -doo -doo -doo. And then we'll slap in some branches. So get just just get get the swing of things, right? When you look at the woods, just study the woods. Study waves, study wood, the woods, the fields, and all that good stuff. And um, you'll get the hang of it. That's about it. You don't have to do a lot more. I don't like this here. I wanna... Okay. There we go. I'm going to dry that. Oh, I think I'll add a rock or two here. Break up that. Okay. See how it dries back again? Now we can always go in with our brush and uh, add a, uh, a little more to the branches if you're not happy. And I'm just using green. I'm going to put some more alizarin crimson in here. This 
this is just to get you inspired and you can try all kinds of things don't don't hesitate <clears throat> and don't try to do don't try to imitate everything I do experiment because you'll learn a whole lot by trying different things you know what another interesting thing is take um, oh what's it called uh, India ink oh that and India ink and watercolor you well just try it I'm not going to tell you what'll happen but you, especially with rocks and things you'll have maybe I should do one of those you'll have a, a amazing uh, results I'm sure you'll like it you may not okay do it now there you go. And I'm going to add a little more alizarin crimson right down here. I think everything looks kind of balanced except it looks a little off color here. I'll just throw that in there. This, uh, There we go. And then we'll add our nap and that's it. This is the fun part. It covers up all the ugly stuff. There, look at that. There we are. Let's see if we can get. Oh, wasn't meant to do that. I was going to try and get it any closer to you. Uh, there we go. See? Happy painting! All of 17 minutes. <laughs>